be so for real right now. Is this real? Is this real life? Ooh, I almost said great morning class, but great morning, y'all. I'm about to get dressed, slap a wig on. And we finna go see my first classroom. This is random, sorry. I think I got carpal tunnel syndrome because every time I sleep without a wrist splint, I wake up in pain. So I'm gonna have to wear it to go to work today. So yeah, now my wrist hurt really, really bad. We also have a new principal this year. So yeah, I'm trying to pick an outfit. <laughs> Oops. We're gonna pick an outfit out of the living room. Do not ask me why. Also, I wanted to pick a good, like, I don't want to come in there too casual, like shorts and a, um, you know, because I'm just meeting my new principal for the first time and first impression is everything. I've talked to her over the phone, but I have not met her in person. So, and I don't want her to be like, ooh, why did I hire her? You know what I'm saying? So let me get that, put it on, and then we can be ready to roll. I'm trying to find my wrist splint thing. This is really... Oh, I'm showing you. And my eye right here is so freaking irritated, y'all. Like, it hurts. I'm just toe up. I'm toe up already. Oh, she look crazy. And people may see this as begging, but I see it as a teacher doing what she gotta do. I see it as a teacher advocating for her students, okay? So, what I was gonna say is, if you feel led to, or if you just wanna donate, and help Miss Perkins create a safe, homey environment in her classroom that prioritizes mental health. You can either send a donation and ask for my Cash App, Zelle, PayPal, or you could just simply go to my Amazon registry, which will be open till about December 7th, 2023, and you can help me buy something for my classroom. And it honestly is really greatly appreciated for real, for real, for real. This is why I need to put a hat on. Cause you see that? I got to cover that up. Cause it's a hole right there, babe. But also it's like hat on your first impression. I don't know. It's like, I can't even push that back because I got to push it to the side because there's some holes going on on the sides too. I'm putting on a hat. It's real deal. A lot going on. Do I got earrings on? I don't have no earrings, but I ain't gonna worry about that right now. Let's go. So you're gonna have to bear with me right now because I gotta hold this for a little minute and I got the air on because it's hot. But y'all, I have never thought that I would make it this far, y'all. I mean, I have, but I haven't. Because if you go back on my YouTube a couple years ago, you will see a video that says, honestly, I wanna drop out. And I did want to drop out. like. My dad had to come give me that last, I guess, little encouraging word to stop me from going to sign the dropout papers because I was going to do it. And now I'm in my last few weeks of grad school. I'll officially have my degree in August, the beginning of August, might I add. I think I'll officially, they all on my side of the road. I think I'll officially have my degree the first day the students are back and then it's the fact that i got two degrees and i got them not within two years but i'm going to be walking across the stage within two years because i was a class of 2020 yeah i was a class of 2022 graduate and now i'm going to be a class of 2023 graduate and that's real crazy when you know back then i didn't even see myself making it to the stage I was, I was honestly ready to give up. I mean, I did give up. I gave up all the things I had planned to do with my life at that time. And then I accepted the things that God placed in my life specifically for me. And he was like, hey, this is what I need you to do. I know you ain't been wanting to do it your whole life. I know you've been trying to avoid it. But this is what, this is what you got to do. This is what I made you to do. So I need you to go do that. So yeah, I just never thought this would happen for me. So this is like a little sentimental moment. So this is like real, real big for me. It is. Y'all, I made it to the room. I love the desk on the three through five hall. 
What's back here? Ooh! Yum! An inherited book thing. I like this little space. This is nice. Girl! Oh, this is you right here? Okay. It don't smell like roses in here or nothing. It's already a globe up in here, so it's giving social studies. And I got a computer desk, so I could have like a little, I got two computer desks, so I could have a tech thingy. This is a lot of math manipulatives, even though I don't think I'll be teaching math. It's a printer, it's dusty though. And then, um, here got a big cabinet with the two drawers at the bottom. I'm over here giving the whole tour. I ain't supposed to get a tour yet. Miss Loretta, I'm ready for the rest of the tour. Okay, we got some, so this was a math teacher in here last year. So we got some math manipulatives, some paper. Oh, yes. Paddle, not paddles. <laughs> I said paddles, <laughs> paddle whiteboards. Oh, they already got a whole bunch of right here. I planned on, I put one on my classroom registry, but now since they already got it, it's cool. This gonna be like my affirmation station, I guess, cause it's already a secure mirror, but it's like don't want my students opening these drawers. I mean, this cabinet, don't know yet. This is a projector. I'm gonna try to see, cause it's the projector and then you got that little thing thing. So what I'm gonna try to see, and this is the computer that connects to that projector thing. And they gave it to all the teachers last year, but they never, hmm, they never like set it up. They just gave it to us. So I'm gonna try to see if I can get it set up this year. Cause I definitely think I wanna utilize it. This is what they use as their word wall. I don't know where I'm gonna put my word wall yet. But yeah, the class is like how I thought it would be. Cause I made like a layout. The floors are not like swept or waxed or anything. Um, there is obviously a rug. Cause I could see like a print from where the rug, a print. Let me show you. I could see where the rug was at, basically. Um, that little table, I'm gonna somehow connect it, connect it to the desk and make it like student center, unless I have an assistant. If I have an assistant, then I will, um, if I have an assistant, then I will let that be her desk area, maybe. Or I'll maybe use one of the computer disks as her desk area. <sighs> this is so exciting. I don't, desk and stuff is outside, obviously. But it's cute. I like it. I saw my mentor, I saw the assistant principal, and my new principal. So I'm finna um, go back to chat with my mentor. So y'all, I'm supposed to be meeting my, I met my new principal and my assistant principal in like quick conversation because they was in a meeting. So I'm not trying to interrupt that meeting, trying to wait till they're done, but I need to. Uh oh, this desk is broken. Okay, but I need to um meet with them both individually. So I'm waiting for them to get out their meeting. But I also don't want this to be a wasted trip up here. I know I can't move around furniture or nothing, but I can like, I guess do stuff on the computer. Mm -hmm. So you can email MissPerkinsBunch at gmail.com for all business inquiries. You can email my teacher business email. Um, What's my password? I don't know. Is that it? Now I can go to my Gmail, which is full of like TikTok notifications. <laughs> so it's 292 emails. 
oh no it's 321 emails i'm gonna go through and like delete all the ones i just don't need then i got all these notifications from my old student because he put my email down for some where do you like send it your email you get points so you can get a toy i hope i get him later on not this year but the next school year because he'll be in third grade then i'm gonna go to i don't know i'm just gonna do some stuff on my email if i do some camera camerable i'll put it on the camera but i'm tired of recording right now so i forgot to keep recording but everything that you just seen that whole classroom is not my classroom anymore i got switched um to a different grade which is closer to what I actually wanted. I got the room in the building that I wanted. And I'm right across the hall from my mentor. So it's like super duper cool and I'm super happy. But yeah, I'm not in that room anymore. But I won't show it on here because I'm going up there today. But if you want to see any more teaching content, It'll be on my teaching YouTube channel, which is going to be linked right here or linked over there. It's going to be linked on the screen somewhere or it's going to be in the description box below. So follow my teaching channel if you want to keep up with any teaching content because I want to keep that separate from my personal content. I just wanted to post this because I just want to say shout out to God because I didn't know where I was going, y'all. In 2020 and 2021. Your girl was very lost, very depressed, and just giving up on herself. You know what I'm saying? And God told me to do this, even though it was something I was trying to avoid my whole entire life. Literally, I was like, I'll be anything but a teacher. And now I'm a teacher. And it's like, whatever I was trying to do before, the doors kept closing in my face, closing in my face, closing in my face. And, you know, I took a chance on it. Because honestly, I didn't have no backup plan. So I was like, hey, I guess we'll see. And then doors start opening for me, opening for me. And they still opening for me. So I'm excited. It hasn't been an easy journey, but it's been worth it. And yeah, if you want to follow my teaching content, you know where to go. So thank you guys for tuning in and see you on another Tuesday. Mwah.